Hey everyone, how's it going? Once again, this is Fillers Fillers here, playing a little bit of Don't Starve. I haven't actually played this game since the lightning update, or when they have the rainstorms and things of that nature. And uh, currently still in winter time, so we'll see what happens with that and all the new features that are available. Uh, went and started to do a recording and noticed that all my old slots have actually disappeared, although they still have the data in it, they just don't actually display the correct information. So, let's continue on with Survival 1. 26 with my Wilson dude. And there we go. It is winter times. It is during the day on day 26, so I have the props going on. And I need to go and take a little bit of an inventory because I don't quite remember exactly what's going on with everything. As well as I want to inform you guys that the way that the game works, and I did a little bit of research on how warmth works. The various items that you wear have a different amount of warmth associated with them. So, um, even though I was hoping... One second, let me pull this out real quick. And we get a cooked meat in there. Maybe a sliced pomegranate. Uh, yeah, my pomegranate, that's some fun. So let's just go and add the tasty delicious treats to my crock pot. So how it works is that your various types of uh, items that you wear give you different degrees of warmth. So this is like an item one level of warmth, which means that if I'm out and about away from a fire, I get somewhere between like 30 seconds to an additional 60 seconds of, of warmth before I actually start getting cold to the various stages. And so it just means that I won't be able to go and travel very far away from my nest, from my little campsite. Let's see... But what I do need to do is collect some grass. And look, they actually changed the rabbits. The rabbits look different than they did before. So, they went and they changed this interface a little bit. It's a little bit farther out. And... Man, I don't have any. So I need to create some more traps. Oh, I need to get some more fertilizer. And I have no idea how much longer I'm just going to be lasting. Let's see if this is still like that. Oh, yeah, it's still like that. Can do. Just grab some fairy bushes. There's not much left. Not much time left in this day, so I'm not going to stray too far away from my camp. Just kind of look around, see what's available, gather me some rabbits. And let's see. I right, have chock full of rabbits there. Chock full of rabbits here. I do need to do. Okay, so my backpack has nothing in it. Okay, so it's just dark time. So I have tons of sticks. And... There we go. So we have our birds, we have our meat that's spoiling. Alright, let me look and see what are all the new things that I can make. Create a purple gem by combining colors. Uh, nightmare fuel, an evil residue used by the foolish and the crazy. Use a shadow manipulator to build a prototype. Um, structures. Checkerboard flooring. Nicely checkered marble tiles. Wooden flooring, cobblestones. Birdcage. I might make one of those pretty soon. Can make a sign. Make your mark upon the world, okay. I can make a hay wall, wood wall, stone wall, pig house. Okay. Let's see, any new science. Shadow manipulator. Is this even science anymore? So I'm gonna need a whole bunch of this nightmare fuel, purple gem, and living log. I haven't seen one of those yet. Rainometer, two wood and two gold, gunpowder, uh, rotten egg. Charcoal, lightning rod, protection from strikes. Uh, I'm gonna get some gold. I already have a science machine, an alchemy machine. Okay. Drying rack, the jerkiest of racks. So I need charcoal. I have that. Let me feed my fire real quick. Now let me see. Let me investigate all my chests again to see what I have. Food, food, food. Okay, so I'm good on that. 
I have some charcoal, which is cool. And let me see. Log seed's almost gone. Alright. So I would like to get a log rack, or whatever, a drying rack. Because that'll make it so that I can create some additional food. Let me see. Am I completely out? I might be completely out of cut grass, which means I need to go and harvest that tomorrow. Completely vacant on that. Okay, so I have two pieces of rope, which I'm going to need to make it so that I can make fires, and I'm also going to need it if I want to make a drying rack. So let's see what else I can make. Food-wise, I can make a bee box, which I've wanted to do anyways. Uh, improved farm. Grows seed a bit faster than, I guess, the turbo farm. Huh. I don't even see the option for it. They might have actually gotten rid of the turbo farm before. Hmm, interesting. So bug net, a heat stone, stores heat for travel. Uh, I guess that makes it so that you can walk around. I'm going to need some rocks and flint. Oh, crap. Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay. So, normal rocks. I'm almost out of normal rocks. Man. Okay, so I need to go and check out exactly what I need to make. Heat stone. I'm going to need that. Um, bird trap I was already familiar with. Piggyback. Carries a lot, but slows you down. Skin. I guess it's just a bigger backpack, I'm guessing. Healing salve. I've never even seen the spider plant before. Honey poultice heals minor wounds. Uh, papers and honey. Or papyrus. Straw roll. Tent. Umbrella. Mitigate the effects of atmospheric pressure. And bug mint. Okay. So fire. I have a miner's hat. Warm up a little bit. Pumpkin lantern. Nope. Tools. Luxury axe, opulent pickaxe, and regal shovel. Dress. Let me see. Puffy vest, which is what I wanted to make before. Top hat, winter hat, bush hat, which is always good fun. Bush hat allows you to go and just kind of hide from stuff. Rabbit earmuffs, a fuzzy little bit of warmth. Hey, okay, cool. I got two of those guys. Wow. My fire is dying really fast. So apparently they also made it so your fire doesn't last as fast or as long in the winter. Let me take two of these guys. And let me make a fuzzy hat. Nice. <laughs> Alright. So with that being said, let me put my straw hat away. And let me look at the map real quick. Okay, so I need to get a bunch of grass, which is going to be down in this area. So let me go and check. Perhaps I can find some food on the way. Okay, so none of that grass is available. I do remember, if um, you guys remember from my previous recordings, that there is this guy down here. And I don't want to fight him because I think that he'll kick my butt right now. Especially with the fact that I'm at about half-life and hungry. Nice. Some rabbit. So I ran out of that, so I can no longer collect more rabbits from that location. So let's run around, check some stuff out. Oh wait. Okay. Just want to make sure I didn't run into that dude. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm pretty excited that this game is going to be <clears throat> released pretty soon, and it's going to be available to the public. And I'm hoping that what they end up doing is they just have maybe a couple new updates for the release, and they kind of continue along with what they're doing, which is about every two weeks they release something new. To kind of keep it new, kind of keep it fresh, change things up a little bit, and uh, make it so that there's just constantly new content coming on out, which would be pretty cool. Harvest my crops real quick. Let me see. Let me make a little fire real quick. There we go. Warm up. Now let me see. I am going to get me some firewood because I'm completely out of that. 
I don't think I can pick it up right now. Oh, I got I got one for wood. Nice. Ah. Man, there's pigs all over the damn place. What are they doing up there? Alright. Actually, I'm just trying to gather a little bit of extra warmth because it seems that even though I go next to a fire, it doesn't go and fill it up all the way. As you saw how fast I went and I got cold again. So I'm guessing that you kind of have a, a hidden <laughs> hidden little area that actually just shows you how quickly it is and it's running on down. So, let me see. Let me gather this tree real quick. It also looks like they actually increase the number of items that you can carry. Which is pretty cool. I guess because they figure the fact that with winter coming around and... You know, there's a lot of different stuff where you actually need to go and carry a lot more items that you can't, you know, use back that anymore. Okay, so it is getting close to dark. Let me chop down a couple more trees, get a little bit more firewood. Oh, cool. Can't even actually see the road anymore. I think that's a pretty new thing, too. Or that just so much damn snow that you can't see stuff. Okay, it's getting dark. I can't see. Alright, let me use this as a means to get back real quick. No, oh, come on. In fact, it doesn't even look like the road works. Eh, I guess the road works sort of. You just can't actually see it very well. Okay. So my health hasn't started dropping yet. And. Let me get on over there real quick. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Use up the last of this real quick. There we go. Oh, he can actually, he's actually making the animation that he's cold. <clears throat> it was also before, before this update, that you would actually go through and you'd use that uh, that rope and it would last you the entire night. Doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Okay, so we have that. 